Girl Develop It started in New York City in 2010. It mm -hmm. was started by Sarah Chips and Vanessa Hurst. Uh, they started the chapter because they realized that they were the only female developers that they knew and they wanted to fix that. So they started a class and uh, the class sold out overnight and it turned into a thing where they started offering regular classes and from there it grew and people started chapters in other cities and it's where it is today where we have over 30 chapters across the U.S. and starting ones in Canada and uh, you know it's become quite a quite a movement. <laughs> well, where is it starting in Canada? Uh, we have one in Ottawa, and I believe we're talking to some other cities as well. Okay. Um, so we're still just working out, you know, how that how that looks. But mm -hmm. and uh, how did you both get involved with Girl Develop It? Um, yep. So I was working with a nonprofit and was doing their online marketing and got mm -hmm. into the HTML and realized that I wanted to take a class in New York. They had the classes all set up and they didn't have them in Boston where I live. So mm -hmm. I contacted them and said, how do we get this happening in Boston? And they said, you have to start doing it. So we started classes in Boston a year ago and I've been involved with Girl Develop It on multiple fronts since then. Mm -hmm. How many students do you get per in a, every class and how many classes? like? Per week, let's say. Yeah, so each of the chapters really that's up to them what's best for their community. Mm -hmm. um, a big part of what we do is making sure everybody feels comfortable. So the class size is usually smaller. We have TAs that are really involved with the students learning, but um, really depends. We try in Boston, we try and keep it under 20 for all of our classes. So. And how many TAs do you have for a class of 20 people? Um, we uh, The ratio in Boston that we keep is 5 to 1. I think officially the other chapters we tell them to do 7 to 1. So we okay. always have, yeah, there's always plenty of help and lots of questions and everybody feels really comfortable learning about whatever we're teaching. Mm -hmm. Cool. And uh, what about yourself? How, is, how, how was your group developed and uh, where did it start? So I actually, I grew up in Philadelphia and I became involved with Girl Develop It there as a member. I was taking classes. Um, because I had sort of, I was self-taught and I did some things for a few different jobs where I worked on the website, but I didn't really know what I was doing. So I wanted to formalize, you know, mm -hmm. my skills. So I started taking classes and then in 2012, uh, I decided to move to Vermont. And so I, you know, lived in Burlington. I was trying to look for something similar. I wanted to plug into the tech community, but I just wasn't finding the same sort of welcoming environment. And so I was complaining to my friend, Yasmin, who runs the chapter in Philadelphia about the fact that we don't have Girl Develop It there. And she said, well, start your own chapter. <laughs> and so that's what I did. I started our chapter in uh, March of 2013. Mm -hmm. And we're celebrating our one year anniversary in a couple weeks. Cool. And now we have 400 members and you know, we have classes every month. And you know, it's, it's been an amazing experience being so part of it. Would you say the tech community in, in Burlington now know each other more, or in Vermont, or more connected, or uh, yes. has it changed? The Definitely. I mean, we have a, a lot of different user groups that were pretty siloed. There wasn't a lot of collaboration between mm -hmm. them. And now with Girl Develop It, you know, we have events and people sort of connected with each other, you know, connected with women in their community that they didn't even know were programmers. And so it's been a really amazing way to, to join everyone together. Wow, that's really interesting. That's my favorite part is the community that we've created around women who are already in tech. So it's mm -hmm. great that we're bringing more people in, but um, the women in Boston have just like made, they become friends and we hear stories about how they're helping each other get jobs and about how they're doing better in their job because they have this place to come and kind of talk mm -hmm. about programming with other women. So mm -hmm. that's one of my favorite things about what we do. So what specific, because now there are, um, there are all these, uh, you know, like female enrichment programs for for learning computer science like there's the ladies learning code there are the my pi ladies groups there are you know groups that are forming all over the place and um, do you see an advantage with girl develop it and its model as opposed to the other f forums that exist right now well we have a, a model that's different than some in that we charge for our classes so mm -hmm. but they're affordable they're usually 10 bucks an hour so uh, a standard class is eight or nine hours, so it'll be 80 or 90 bucks, mm -hmm. uh, maybe more depending on the length or the difficulty or you know, uh, mm -hmm. space costs, that kind of thing. Um, the other thing that sets us apart a little bit is that we, we're open, so men can come. Um, you know, any, someone who identifies as a woman can come to the class and feel welcome. Mm -hmm. So uh, you know, it's always predominantly women, but we have an environment where men can come and realize you know, what it's like to program with women. And so it helps to sort of change the culture a little bit because we can teach men what it's like to be welcoming yeah. you know, <laughs> to women in their, in their yeah. community. Yeah, and so. we... Um, 
I, I think the, the other thing is we're we are not specific to one language, so we are get women who just are don't even know what to ask the question. Mm -hmm. Like they don't even know what Python is to go to a Python ladies class. So mm -hmm. um, we have classes that are very very early web development, like how the internet works and what what are these you know what are all these languages and why are they different. So um, mm -hmm. I think that's the other thing we do is create an environment for people who don't even know what questions to ask. Yeah, mm -hmm. and maybe why it's important. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, exactly. I know I, I didn't ask that question when I was in high school and even early in university. Um, most people who are kind of like me didn't really care. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's until you realize that you actually need it that yeah. you, uh, you, start to, you start to pay attention. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you have any, uh, like any examples of, or like, I guess, success stories? out of the program? Yeah, we actually, in Boston, we just had a great um, partnership with another organization. Um, we worked with Railsbridge, mm -hmm. and they have a kind of introductory weekend. We planned a class to follow up to that because we heard from a lot of people that that was a really good intro, but they wanted more in Ruby on Rails. So we scheduled a class immediately following their weekend. We had a student who took the Rails Bridge, and then she signed up for our class, and now she is actually making a career move to become a programmer. So yeah, she's signed up for a, an intensive boot camp, and she was working in academia, academia doing research, and mm -hmm. now she's going to be a programmer. So oh, yeah, cool. and that's, that was it. That was like a big win for us because mm -hmm. we we gave her all the tools and exposed her and made her feel comfortable, and now she's getting the opportunity to do something that she loves. Cool. So, so last question: If we're going to start a chapter in Montreal, where do we get started? So you can uh, send an email to pycon at girldevelopit.com okay. and just let us know that you're interested in starting a chapter mm -hmm. and so we'll reach out to you and give you information and talk to you about the steps of what okay. it would take. Okay. Well, thank you both for yeah. coming out thank and you for uh, yeah, yeah. Thank you know, you for enjoy, enjoy the rest of Montreal. Yeah. <laughs> thank, I you. Love it. thank you. Thank <laughs> you.